here on CBS. If you're looking for passion in the morning, just follow the light. Guiding light moves to a brand new time, weekday mornings at 10. Follow the light. The light is moving. If you're looking for excitement, early in the day. Follow the light to its new time. Catch New York's only morning soap, Guiding Light, starting September 11th at 10 a.m., only on Channel 2. Don't get left in the dark. Besides a plague of locusts, what could possibly be worse than Roger and Dinah's engagement? You don't want to know. Roger's move changes everything. How so? Forget about Roger. Dinah's just out to hurt you and Vanessa. You know, I just gotta put a stop to it. If she wants to ruin her life, let her. Not an option. Not with Roger. Wh what do you mean? Well, Henry, of course, knew that Dinah was gonna get married, and he planned for it. But Roger Thorpe, as the groom, that occurred to nobody. Wait a minute, me. Ross, Ross, stop. You're talking in circles here. What is it that you know that you're not telling us? Dinah gets her trust fund the minute she marries. Roger is an I do away from millions of dollars. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. If I feel heavier, it's because of my ring. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most beautiful ring I've ever seen, including Liz Taylor's clunky one. I'm glad you like it. Like it? Like it? I love it. Oh, it is just perfect. And the best part is that Blake caught us shopping for it. I mean, I wish I had a camera. She looked like a deer in headlights. It was great. <laughs> she had to find out sooner or later. Um, Roger, I'm sorry. I, I know how much you love Blake, and I know that you're upset that she's not happy for us. Well, get used to it. Our marriage is going to s stick in Springfield's collective craw. Well, the, the clerk at the jewelry store seemed happy for us, anyway. <laughs> oh, he was delirious, but I think it had more to do with the commission. <laughs> <laughs> well, all my friends in Europe are going to be ecstatic. I can't wait to tell them. Dad, are you in there? Oh, Marcus, come on no, in! No, no, no. No, it's okay. Come in here, come in, come in, come in, come in. Guess what? what? Roger and I are engaged. <laughs> Look, Roger, Marcus is so excited, he doesn't even know what to say. There's only one thing to say. Close the door behind you. We're out of here. What? Marcus! Put me down! What are you doing? Marcus! Oh! They have to be here. I mean, how can I lose it? I have the sheets, coupons. I have directions on how to operate the poster, but I don't have my divorce papers. Blushing bride, uh, huh? Don't yeah. panic. What happened here? I know that oh, it's here. Oh, you still haven't found the divorce papers? No, I know that it's here. What, are they lost forever? Is that the Sweetie, thing? they're not lost. They're just okay. misplaced. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, it's just that I wanted to, you know, file today. I haven't looked and, uh, in all the boxes anyway. You know, things are always the last place that you look. I'll tell you what. Um, why don't you point me in the direction of a box? I'll help you look. No, that? Josh, honey, come on, take it easy. I'll do it. Keep your pants on. Well, I wasn't really thinking about taking them off, but now that you mention it, it's not a bad idea. You're always so Just kidding. Ah. Hmm. All right, here's one you missed. Save time, right? No, Josh, I already looked in that box. The paper's not in there. 
You sure? Yes, you know, there are, there are old school things, reports, oh, science oh, really? projects, you know. Oh, you're... maybe a few uh, romantic letters, you know, no, old honey, boyfriends, no. that kind of thing. I mean, maybe I should look through this box just to get a better idea of no, what I'm sweetie, getting myself into. No, you know, in. we don't have time to stroll down memory lane. Come on, I promise, I won't Gosh, laugh really, at your senior really, portrait. really, you know, if we're going to apply for that um, marriage license right now, then, you know, we got to get going. Okay, you're right. The search is on. Move onward. Get this thing you know, done, it has huh? to be here. Listen, you know, um, I, I, I just keep thinking the place is going to close around 5 o'clock, the, the clerk's office, you know, so why don't we go ahead and get the facts from the lawyer's office in Chicago? Josh, no, I can do it, okay? You, you, you haven't called the lawyer yet, have you? No, I, I thought I'd find it by now. Well, now we really are wasting time, Josh, Andy. Come really? on, what, uh, just, just give me a couple uh, more minutes, I'll tell you what, okay? I'll tell you what. Why don't you give me the number, let me make the phone call while you look. No! Okay? No! You know, it's, it's clients' confidentiality. They, they won't release the files to you. Annie, make the call. Okay. Got to find the number. Um, this is Annie Dutton. I was wondering if I could speak to uh, uh, Mr. Mitchum. He's no longer with the firm. Uh, well, who's taking care of his clients now? Mr. Turner. So, let me talk to Mr. Turner. In court. <laughs> well, maybe you can help me out. Uh, Mr. Mitchum handled my divorce case about uh, a few years ago, and I was wondering if I could get a copy of the final decree, because I want to get a marriage license. They're in storage. Oh. Uh, well, listen, I'm a little desperate here. How, could you just send a clerk down maybe to the, wherever they're stored and, uh, and bring them back up for me? You know, we're kind of in a rush. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, my Annie Dutton, D-U-T-T-O-N. 555-7715. Thank you. Yeah, I'll look forward to your call. Okay, thanks. With any luck, this will be over soon. My father knows about Dinah's trust fund. It's all over. But he doesn't know about the marriage clause, which gives Dinah the money immediately. Vanessa and I kept that a secret from Dinah for fear she'd walk down the aisle right away. As soon as Roger finds out, though, he's going to get married as soon as possible. Looks like he's going to do that anyway. You know, I don't really believe that. I think this marriage proposal is designed to get back at Vanessa and me without the money. I don't think Roger's going to go through with it. Unless he can get his hands on a better chamber than money. Then it's like icing on the wedding cake. Exactly. I'm going to tell Vanessa what's going on. Leave Vanessa out of this. Are you nuts? Vanessa has to know that her daughter is about to marry Roger Thorpe. If and when she needs to know, I'll tell her. I think you're way out of line. I'm thinking about what's best for Vanessa. And she's finished jumping through hoops for Dinah. You can't tell a mother how to feel about her daughter. I'm not trying to tell her how to feel. She can love her all she wants. I'm just not going to let her Dinah dump on her anymore. Look, Dinah is engaged to a man who's going to destroy her life. We have to get her to break it off. Truth is, you just don't want to lose this round of the game, do you? Dinah's well-being is my only concern. Yeah, well, if that were the case, you would have told her about the marriage clause the moment she got back to Springfield. Hey, hey, no, hey, no, 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 no. She was way too immature to hear about that. Do you just want to control her, Ross. Just admit it. Control Dinah? Where have you been? Watching this mess, seeing what it's done to Vanessa, how it's hurt you and Blake, Bridget and Peter. We gotta let Dinah go and get on with our lives. She's stupid enough to marry Roger, let her. Hell, I'll sing at the wedding. It's gonna be your funeral if you don't let Vanessa know about it. Let her get mad. Somebody's gotta think straight around here for a change. Well, it's not gonna be you. I don't think you have a clue, Matt. Yeah, Ross, maybe I don't, but I want Vanessa out of this. Her mother has a right to know about Vanessa it. Vanessa is stuck in Europe with Bridget's baby, scared to come home, and you want to dump this on her? I don't think so. We can't allow Roger Thorpe to marry Dinah, take her money, then turn around and use it against That's our family. That's what this is all about, isn't it? Money. No, it's not. Money is the least of my Then concern. let it go. If Roger can put up with her royal pain in the butt, he deserves every penny. Come on, Marcus, you This is for your own to... good. I'm getting you out of here before it's too late. What are you talking about? I can't let you do this. Thorpe is not the guy for you. Marcus, he's the only one for me. Now the blood is rushing to my head. Put me down. What is wrong with you? No, I could be chilling in Europe, but no. I decided to come to the States and spend time with you. Listen, I love you for it, okay? Really. But he is the one for me. He's the only one in the world for me. Marcus, I want you to be happy for me. 
Okay. Okay, if getting hitched to Mr. Congeniality is what's gonna make you happy, go for it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, I want you to call the whole gang in Europe and tell them they're invited to the engagement party. I mean, I would send invitations, right. but there's just no time. And, well, my entrance at the country club is going to be fabulous. It is going to rival Diana's at Ascot. It really is. We'll have to have some fabulous music playing. I mean, you can play. Do you still have uh, your, your chucks? Actually, it doesn't matter. Roger will buy you one. Diana's honey. fine. I'll make do. Oh, whatever. You hire a backup band, orchestra, whatever it takes to make my baby happy. Oh, you oh. are so great. Mm. I would love to play the gig. Anything Good. for Dinah. Oh, great. Well, what else? Let's see. Uh, well, of course, there's food. I mean, we can't possibly go with someone local. We'll have to fly in Pierre Le Ben from Paris, unless that's going to be too expensive. Sky's the limit. I want eyes to pop and tongues to wag and jaws to drop. <laughs> well, I am really good at that. No kidding. Oh, can we take a rain check on our dancing date tonight, please? I mean, I really need to plan this party down to the final jealous Look, gasp. It's fine. It's fine. Thanks. You're an angel. <laughs> well, now to get in the party mood. And where are you going? I am going to show off mwah, my gorgeous ring. And if you listen carefully, you can probably hear teeth gnashing all the way up here. <laughs> you are tray naughty. I know. But totally delightful. Mwah, I know. Ta-ta. Bye. Well, I, I guess I'm out of here. You know what they say, a good sax takes practice. So does good acting, and yours needs work. Dr. Oh! Are you okay? Yeah. Do you need, uh, you need CPR? No. Uh, uh, crash cart, no, mouth fine, to mouth? Thanks. Are you sure? I'm fine. Oh, that's right. You know, us doctors, we get so wrapped up in our, our work, we just block everything out. You know, and you nurses, you... You guys just live to wear those sexy white shoes, don't you? Oh, yeah. That and our six-figure salaries. It's mm -hmm. the sexy white shoes, isn't it, Phyllis? Mm. May I? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> oh, what can I do for you? I rescheduled the trauma team meeting as you request. Excellent. Can you notify the rest of the team about the time change? You'll tell Nurse Dutton? Uh, I'm, I'm really swamped. If you don't mind, um, could you tell her? Thanks. Annie, how did I get to this? Oh, man. <laughs> what a way to start the day. Yeah, for a guy who doesn't like to get up in the morning. Hold on. What? Hold on. What? <laughs> Am I doing a good job? <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get to the hospital and pitch my idea. Well, Chicago General sure does need a trauma team. And you're just the doctor to do it. Annie Dutton, if this thing flies, if this thing flies, <laughs> we're going to get to do what we love the most and always be together. And it's going to be intense, and it's going to be all the time, and the feeling and the rush is going to be just like... Like, you know. We'll just file on another day. It's no big deal. You're not upset? No, no. Just no. a minor frustration. Mm, you make me feel better. Bryce, you still <laughs> want me. <laughs> because you're disorganized? I got problems, too. You know, I know you think I'm perfect, but, uh, but I'm not. What did I do to deserve you? Well, you must have been extremely lucky. Don't I know it? <laughs> what was the problem? 
Nothing. It's just that, you know, I wish that woman would call. How long can it be to find a file? You said they were in storage, right? I mean, hopefully they're more organized than some people. I yeah, know. yeah. Listen, I should clean up this mess. No, 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 no. We don't have time for that. We promised uh, dinner with the kids, right? Remember? Yeah. But I have to wait for Chicago That's to That's all right. Call. Forget about it. You know, we promised the kids. We'll, Sweetie, we'll do I'd this. love to see the kids. Really, I would love to see the kids. It's just... I got a great idea. Why don't you go, get things started, and then I'll meet up with you after I get the call. Comprende? Yeah. You know, maybe we should stay here for just a little while. No, <laughs> now, just, just here? Little bit, yeah. No, not in this mess. I only have eyes for you. Well, Josh Lewis, how you do go on. Yeah, well, you, um, you inspire me, to say the least. That makes two of us. Yeah. I can hardly wait until our wedding day. Mm. And, of course, our wedding night and all the days and nights that come after that. Well, we're only a fax away before we get everything we need to get that marriage license. Yeah. yeah. You go. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I'm out of here. Tell Mara and Shane I said hi. <laughs> I'll be here in a second. You are such... Get out of here. What is it with you people and money? You keep dying in the dark about it. She gets herself kidnapped for it. Now she's entitled to it. You don't want to give it to it her. It is not the money. Do you understand? It is about Dinah's welfare and her future. Henry Chamberlain invested very wisely. I mean, we're talking literally millions of dollars, more than enough to give Dinah a good and secure life in the future. Something she never had as a child. But that is simply not going to happen if she marries Roger. You worried Dinah was going to marry some idiot. Well, guess what? She is. Give her the money, let Roger blow it, but this game of keep away has gone on long My enough. My daughter's well-being is not a game. And look, you simply don't stop caring about a child simply because she grows up. I don't have a problem with caring, but it's gone further than that, Roger. You, you, Dinah, Roger, the money, you're obsessed with it. Well, we can't sit around and do nothing. Yeah, but you can't control her either. She's a grown woman. I'm trying to keep my grown woman from making a mistake that she's going to regret for the rest of her life. Yeah, well, Fort probably thought the same thing when you hooked up with his daughter. I married for love. He's marrying for revenge. You don't like it when somebody tells you what to do. What do you mean, like now? Dinah is no different. Love her all you want, Ross, but let her get on and live her own life. I don't know what else to say. Perhaps when you're a parent, you will understand, all right? Ross is right. You know, Roger is my father, and there will be a part of me that, that always loves him. But it doesn't make me blind to the kind of man he is. He's a user. He has no conscience. No regrets. Matt, he hates the Chamberlains. It happened. It started. This has been going on a long time. Ever since he worked at Spalding, he's just been biding his time. He's been waiting to get back at them in the cruelest way possible. Dinah's it. She is the perfect solution. She is a dream come true. Ugh. Oh. Dinah has no idea how much pain my father can inflict upon her. I mean, I tried to warn her. She's not going to listen to me. I mean, it's obvious that there's no love lost between the two of us, but still, I mean, she doesn't even deserve what my father can do. He's going to take her money, he's going to take her love, and he's going to leave her with nothing. Oh, if we don't try to stop it, we're just as bad as he is. Matt Blake understands. Why can't you? My life is on hold because he's a brat daughter. Somebody's got to do something about it. I guess it has to be me. Oh, what are you going to do that nobody else has tried, Matt? Hi! Well, I guess Blake squealed the good news. We'll continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. This is CBS. If you're looking for passion in the morning, just follow the light. Guiding Light moves to a brand new time, weekday mornings at 10. Follow. The light is moving. If you're looking for excitement, early in the day. Follow the light to its new time. Catch New York's only morning soap, Guiding Light, starting September 11th at 10 a.m., only on Channel 2. Don't get left in the dark. I wonder what Geraldo was up to. Let's not forget Oh, Josh. Oh, whew, man. You, 
You were near about scared me to death. Hmm. Uh, here, you want a bite? Uh, no, thank this you. This is the last of the cold cuts. Maybe need to get some more. I left a list in the kitchen. Hawk, I think it's time you and I had a little talk. There are two. Oh, I hate to mention uh, it, but uh, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll start. Keep them lips a flapping. I'll eat my sandwich. I appreciate that, Hawk. You know, I've been thinking a lot about your future. I've been thinking about where you fit in the greater scheme of things, and I think it's about time for you to go. I just got here. Yeah, I, I understand that, but you know something? Annie and I are going to be married soon, and after we're married, after the honeymoon, we're going to move into a house together. You know, oh, with our I mean, children. Me, me and Vanessa and Henry could be one little happy family. No. Sweet at the Regency? <laughs> I don't think so. Room at the boarding house. Well, that's a possibility, but I'm not paying the bill. Well, what then? Cardboard box and a shopping cart? Hawk, where you choose to live is your problem. I'm homeless in the heartland. <laughs> now, listen, I'm willing to help you out. Right? In fact, I'm even willing to get you a job at Lewis Construction. Me? Work? Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, work. Uh, construction. Uh, my bad ticket. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll figure out something for you. I've also taken the liberty of circling a few ads here. These are for apartments that are for rent. You can take a look at that. Have fun, you know, happy hunting and all that. I have no Good luck. with more finesse. What, what, what would sister say to you? I mean, to tossing me out on my no, elderly behind? No, no, You have what, played no. the Reva card one time too many. Reva is gone, and life has gone on without her. Colder than Christmas. Now, I appreciate the fact that you helped me out after Reva's death, but you and I have never been very close, have we? And you know something? I don't think we're ever going to be close. What about Shane and Mara? I mean, they love their papa. Yeah, I, I know that, Hawk. And that's the main reason I've allowed you to stay as long as I have. In spite of the stunts that you have tried to pull. Stunts? Yes. I have told the line. I have walked the straight and narrow. You have jumped on Annie every chance you get. You also tried to torpedo a, a court proceeding coming in claiming that Reba was alive. You're gonna nitpick. Now, I'm telling you, Hawk, this is it. The next step is to cut you off completely from Mara and Shane. No, no, please. I love those kids, and, and, and they love me. I won't let you fill their heads with any more lies about Annie. Now, now funny you should mention... Now, hey, don't, lies don't you and dare Annie start with me again. It's Mara. Mara. Mara, I want to talk to you about Mara. Now, I caught that child in a bold-faced fib. What exactly does that have to do with Annie? Well, when I called Mara on her lying way, she said, it's okay to lie. Annie does. I'm telling you, Josh, that mutton woman has pulled her wool over your eyes. Same bad dream, man, and guess what? Um, it's about you. I'm sorry about tonight. I've just had so much on my mind lately. Like Jake? No. You always know, tonight, weren't you? Nothing is going on with Jake and me. I just had a drink with some friends. That's all. You're lying. You never could have just one drink. Rick, I'm sorry. This will never happen again. You said that last time. And the time after that, and the time after that. Don't give up on me, please. I don't buy it anymore, Annie. Don't give up on me, Rick. I won't be able to bear it, please. I love you so much. I messed up. I know that. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll eat a cold dinner. Okay, I'll tell Jake we can't be friends anymore. Just please, don't give up on me. Please, Rick. Never give up on you, Annie. You're my wife. I love you. pretty apparent that you're not too thrilled with this whole marriage thing between me and Dinah. Well, I guess that depends. On what? On whether you're really going to marry her or not. Ooh. 
Aren't we the young cynic? Yeah, well, I guess that's just part of the whole Gen X thing. You know, I just love this dude with attitude riff you've been spinning. You this nice to all your hosts? Ah, here we go. Threat time. Well, no threat, Marcus. Just a gentle reminder. See, from my vantage point, I've been paying for your room, your meals, all your incidentals, and have yet to ask anything in return. Right. Until now. Dinah's happy. Be happy for her. Dinah and I go back a long ways, and we can lie in six languages. Mm -hmm. But we don't lie to each other. That's just not who we are. That's very commendable. Yeah, right. See, I would hate for Dinah to lose her one good friend. I never said I was going anywhere. But I also hate feeling used. It makes me want to stop <laughs> I don't know, being generous. You know what I mean? My friend, I don't need your handouts. You're not my friend. Not yet. And I'm not yours. And you don't need my enmity either. And you wonder, you honestly wonder why I'm not happy for Dinah? Look in the mirror. Boy, you got one smart mouth on you, don't you, punk? Listen, you don't scare me. No? And I'm really worried about Dinah because the last thing she needs is to be messing with you. I saved her life. Mm-hmm. Well, then you had just better keep on keeping on. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some practicing to do. At least one of us should come through for the bride-to-be, don't you think? Well, I trust everyone got the invitation to my engagement party. Hmm? What is this, a mime convention? Somebody say something. Pass. I've wasted enough breath for one day. <laughs> Poor Blake. Proven wrong yet again. Roger loves me enough to marry me. Huh? Hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. Don't worry, I promise to be a better stepmother to you than you've been to me. Dinah, Roger is using you to hurt your mother and me. Oh, mother! Mother, now, does she know the good news? We forgot to call her. Oh, well, don't just stand there. Get on the horn. She's always looking for an excuse to fly the Concorde. And I suppose you could help me shop for my china and my trousseau. Get your own dishes. Your mother's had enough of your shenanigans to last a lifetime. So have I. Oh, it looks like Matt's jealous that I'm going to be a bride before he's a groom. Well, don't be. Okay? Come on. Call mother. Sound the all clear. It's safe to come home. Roger doesn't want the drooling Peter. He wants me. And whatever my honey wants, my honey gets. Yes, why don't you tell us what it is you want? I mean, why did you say yes to Mr. Roger Adam Thorpe? So desperate for love or money? Or do you just want to hurt your parents? Why do you have to be so serious, Dad? If you want to hurt your parents, why don't you be like other kids? Get a nose ring, do a centerfold, but don't destroy your life because we're not worth it. What I want is for you and Mother to be happy for me. I found a man who loves me. You're cheating on my dad already? Roger has proved time and time again that he loves me. I mean, look, we could just be living together, right? No strings attached, but he wants to marry me. Make it legal and binding. Now, if that's not true love... It's not. He is using you. For what? Sex? Dinah, please. Roger could have any woman that he wants. And he's certainly not after my money, because we all know that I'm not going to see a dime of my trust fund for the next century. No, Dad. Roger loves me for me. And I know that's a stunning concept for all of you, but try and accept it. And as for Mother, she can eat my bouquet. And I hope you'll give me away at the wedding, Daddy. It's going to be spectacular. Think Charles and die, minus the uh, accents and the divorce. See, Ross, she's not going to change. <laughs> well, the boy toy can speak. I don't believe it. Come on, Matt. Blake and Daddy are trying to talk me out of marrying Roger. Now it's your turn. Go ahead. Give it your best shot. You've got a date with my Don't you want to know? Man. 
Are you having a midlife crisis, or uh, have you just lost your mind? Neither. Then this is no joke? You mean you're actually thinking of marrying this very young, young little piece of fluff? Leo, please. A modicum of respect for my future bride. Roger, I can get you off with an insanity plea. Your hormones made you do it. Just tell me this is a trick, a ruse, a perverse stroke of genius. Leo, we are engaged. You got that? Now, I said nothing, notice, about getting married. Ah, oh, that's more like it. So that means we can call off the search on Hart? Absolutely not. I need him now more than ever. What about your checkbook? It's getting thinner by the day, Roger. See, Ross and Vanessa and Bridget are going to pay for using my grandson as a pawn in their little game. Now, Dinah is just a diversion till I get my ducks in a row, and then it's open season on my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> you had me worried there for a well, second. Well, I know. I like to worry. <laughs> Don't worry, okay? Try not to worry so much. Dinah's buying it, too. My only concern is her little piece of Euro trash. Oh. The sax player. Marcus Williams, mm -hmm. yeah. Find out everything you can about him. Uh, he could be trouble. And uh, I'm just not going to tolerate trouble. You told me to come see you if I was worried about Dinah. Do tell. So this is where you wound up. Well, Ross is my father. Blake is my evil stepmother. So I wanted to give them the good news in person. What's your excuse? Marcus, you don't have to answer that. No, no, I'm not going to lie to her. I never lied to Dinah. I'm not going to start now. Look, um, I told your old man that I'd keep an eye on you and let him know if I thought you were going to be in trouble. Oh, Marcus. I thought you were my friend. I am your friend. No, friends don't lie to each other and stab each other in the back. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm worried about you. This whole song and dance that you and Thorpe have going, frankly, just doesn't cut it. And I cannot believe that you're so blind that you can't see it's gonna hurt you. I don't get this. I mean, a little while ago, you were very happy about my engagement. What happened? You're right. I realized that you were so far gone that you weren't gonna hear anything that I had to say. Roger has been nothing but good to you. Oh, come on. I've seen guys like him before. You have, too. There's always a payback, and it's always steep. Look, just break the engagement. We can head to Ibiza. We can crash with Adrienne at her villa. Just like the good old days. Oh, Marcus, I don't believe this. My best friend, my only friend, you're on their side? Can't you see this has nothing to do with sides? I thought I... It's about you. It's about you being all right and about you being safe. No, I thought I could trust you. You can. And believe me, Thorpe is the one you have to worry about. No, obviously, he's the only one that I can trust. It's a lot, Marcus. And by the way, you are not the world's best sax player. Hello? Yeah, it is Annie Dutton. Did you find my divorce papers? What? No, listen, you don't understand. You don't understand. What am I supposed to do? I have a fiancé who wants to get married right away. No, 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 listen to me. No, I won't be put on hold. Listen. Hello. Annie doesn't lie. That Hawk. smooth talking claim jumper's yeah. got you snooker. Listen, I'm warning you, you either shut up or I will shut oh, you up. You don't want to believe me? Ask Mara. You, you should be ashamed of yourself. You know that? Using an innocent child to prove. On my honor as a grandpa, Annie lied. Yeah. Go, call the hospital. Let Rick Bauer set you straight. Mara heard him accuse Annie of lying. When she was at, the, at, at Cedars, recouping from her, you know, you, her bus appendix. You told me you went to Cedars to thank Rick for saving your granddaughter's life. Now I find out you went there to dig up trash about Annie. I was looking out for a family. You were looking out for you as usual. Mara felt that Annie and Rick were close. Well, a bell went off. 
I went over there to see if Annie was playing doctor with Rick behind your back. I know all about Rick and Annie. Your fiancé's got a boyfriend and no, you don't care, have a man. You spent too much time they in France. They dated in Chicago. It was a long time ago. It was no big deal. Doesn't explain why Rick called Annie a liar. I don't think he did. Mara said Mara that she heard those exact at the time. Oh, she doesn't know what she heard and what she didn't hear. Rick could have said anything. Rick I know my daughter doesn't lie. And I know Annie is not lying. She's told me everything there is to say about Rick. I wonder. That's it. That's it. You are out of here, Hawk. Out of here! Tonight? Yes, tonight! Wait a minute. What about them youngins? Now, how are you going to explain booting their papa out in the street? It could scar them for life. Here's the deal, Hawk. All right? I want your bags packed. I want you out of here before Annie and I are married. No more stalling. No more tricks. And if you bring up this alleged conversation between Annie and Rick one more time, I will cut you off completely. No job at Lewis Oil. No grandkids. You'd cut me off from family? I'm going to do whatever I have to do to protect Annie. She and I are getting married, and there's nothing anybody's going to do about it, especially you! Oh, thank goodness I found you, Rick. What is it, Annie? The most awful thing has happened. What? What, what did, uh, Josh found out that we were married and he dumped you for lying? Not yet, but I'm afraid he might. Uh, really, I, I don't have time. Please, Rick. What? It... I talked to the lawyer in Chicago. It's about our divorce. So you want me to get the nitty-gritty on a Marcus Williams, an itinerant sax player, huh? Got any idea where I should start? Yeah, start with our people in Europe. That's where he and Dinah tramped around together. Roger. Well, honey, um, would you excuse us just a minute, Leo? What's the matter? Oh, I went to see Daddy to show yeah. off my ring. And actually, it was perfect. Blake and Matt were both there, and Daddy reeled, and Blake cringed, and Matt stormed off. No doubt to call Mother. Sounds like quite a success. Why are you upset? Because in my moment of glory, my best friend showed up and stabbed me in the back. Marcus? What was he doing there? Well, it seems my only friend in town has been a spy for my father. Oh, poor baby. I am so sorry he hurt you after everything you've done for him, everything I've done for I him. I know. I can't believe he's so ungrateful. I hope he chokes on his Treat mouthpiece. Treat this as a lesson learned. Very few people earn your trust. Only you, Roger. <laughs> You're the only one. Listen, why don't you pour yourself a glass of wine and try to relax while I finish up with Mr. Flynn? Oh, no, you can't leave me now. I'm very fragile. Um, tell you what, make yourself a nice, big, bubbly bath, and when you get out, you put on the sexiest, slinkiest dress you can find, because I'm taking you someplace that's going to make you forget all about Marcus Williams, all right? Really? Tell me where. No, nah, no, nah, it's a surprise. Come on, nah, Roger. Trust me. Okay. That is one, that is one high-maintenance bimbo, Roger. Yeah, Dinah's worth the effort if she can keep Ross and Vanessa on tilt until we find my son. I got my best people on it. Well, get more. Do everything it takes. You've got to find him. Dinah's a sweet young thing, I want to tell you. But marriage is not an option. the game a lot longer than you. The secret is to keep your eye on the queen. The queen is the key to winning. Once she's out of the game, it's all but over. You know, I'm trying to help you. I try and help Dinah. Now, my best friend won't speak to me. She's still gonna marry Thorpe. I really should just have kept my nose out of I'm office. sorry that you and Dinah had a falling out, but give her some time. You know, Maybe don't even come... don't even go there, okay? This whole parry and thrust thing you've got going with her is just pointless. Find a new crusade, man. Life's too short. 
spoken like a true non-parent. You know, there's got to be a way to get through to Dinah. Marcus is right. You too? Well, why make ourselves worrying about ways to stop the wedding when there isn't going to be one? Honey, Dinah is halfway down the aisle. Yeah, well, it takes two to I do. Dinah may be ready to love, honor, and obey, but my father, no. I don't think he wants a self-centered ball and chain in his life. I think that this engagement thing is just a ploy to get you and Vanessa foaming at the mouth. If Roger finds out about the marriage clause, she's going to be the bride of Frankenstein faster than you can sing, Oh, Promise Me. How is Roger possibly going to find out about the marriage clause? Dinah doesn't even know. <laughs> Matt, I thought you were Roger. Get out. Not so fast. I'm here to give you what you really want. Really? Well, you're too late. I'm faithful to Roger. I'm not talking about sex. I'm talking about money. I can help you tap the mother load. Who are you, Santa Claus? More like Monty Hall. Don't you and I make a deal? Annie, a divorce is when two people split up and go their own separate ways. What part of that don't you understand? Rick, you don't understand. We're not divorced. We're still married. This has been Guiding Light. Jewelry provided by Clara Studio for Asymmetry. Attention CBS Daytime fans, Monday, The Price is Right, The Young and the Restless, The Bold and the Beautiful, As the World Turns and Guiding Light won't be seen due to U.S. Open tennis coverage. But don't worry, you'll still get a chance to see your favorite soap stars on another special episode of CBS Soap Break, featuring the hottest men of daytime, Monday morning.